all here with me. What a day, what a day. Um, wow, allow me to introduce myself for anybody new here who doesn't know me. Hi, my name is Maggie and uh, I call myself the substitute teacher because uh, I have been on a health and wellness journey where I have been uh, working with a metabolic specialist. I was tested for food sensitivities and I got a list of foods that I'm sensitive to. So all of the cooking that I do here usually is on my sugar-free, dairy-free and gluten-free lifestyle. So that's the food substitutions. But today is a very, very special day. I am beyond thrilled to bring someone to you all who I have been watching for years. And her name is Miss Aisha Williams. So let's say hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Oh my God. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. It's so good to be here. So good to be here. I cannot <laughs> tell you what an honor this is for me, Miss Aisha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you my too. cooking channel is one year old, and I, you, I know you've been at this a lot longer than me, but why I'm so excited, besides the fact that you said yes, is that you are the only other cooking channel that I know that cooks live. I live stream mm -hmm. every day what I'm cooking for myself or what I'm cooking for the family. And you know, most cooking channels are pre-recorded. They put the chicken in, perfect chicken comes out and we know that's not the real world. So if you would please, for anyone who doesn't know who you are, would you please introduce yourself? Oh, okay. Well, I am cooking with Aisha. That's what they call me. Even in public, people see me out. They're like, hey, cooking with Aisha. <laughs> but um, I'm cooking with Aisha. I have um, a cooking channel um, on YouTube, Facebook. I'm on Instagram and um, Twitter. I just love to share budget-friendly meals. That's how I cook um, since I started to try to help families to be able to still cook good on a budget. So most people kind of know kind of who I am. I know your people are here too, Maggie. Thank you all for showing up and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Feel free, Maggie, to share this with your people as well. Oh no, you look frozen. Maggie, are you frozen, dear? Okay, we're gonna give her a second to come back. Sometimes things happen. So we're gonna give her a moment and see if she comes back. And if not, you all will just restart it. It's no big deal. <laughs> It'll be just fine. So I'll give her just a moment. We may have to restart it. So she'll be back. Okay. Mona says she'll be back. So let's give her a moment. So hello, everybody. Hi, and, uh, okay. Uh, there you go. I said you'll be back. <laughs> yes. I think we might have broken the internet. Thank you so much uh, for That's the okay. wonderful um, yes. introduction. So we are going to go ahead and get started. I see everybody chiming in. Thank you all so much for being here, whether you're watching on Miss Aisha's channel or you're watching on my channel. We are so happy to have you, but yes. we are going to get cooking. So Miss Aisha, you have a cookbook. Mm -hmm. and I have a couple of them, actually. Oh, you have that's my first. That's my first book. So the crab cake recipe is in the first book. Okay, so I put the link to this cookbook in the description, so you all can support Miss Aisha by going to her website. This cookbook, Home Style Cooking Made Easy, it mm -hmm. has one hundred and ninety-one pages. She mm -hmm. cooks everything, and yeah. when I mean everything, <laughs> the way that I found you, I can't remember who I was talking to but someone had mentioned this like um smothered cabbage recipe and i had never had that heard about that before and i looked you up and i was hooked i was absolutely <laughs> hooked i absolutely love your personality and your southern Thank accent you. i'm in the atlanta area so i know you're okay southern now <laughs> you right down the road honey <laughs> i'm right down <laughs> right down the road. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I am going to get my apron on and we're going to get started. But I have to say, this is my first time ever seeing you collab with anyone. And I am shocked that you said yes, but I would love to know why you decided to say yes to me. And here's the thing. Um, I usually say no 
It's not that I don't have people reach out to me to do all sorts of things. I've had requests to come on news channels, all sorts of things. Um, I believe in God's timing. I'm big on that. Um, I did cook with someone when I first started back in 2017. And from that experience, I learned that I need to just kind of just take a step back and let God lead me in that area. So when Maggie reached out to me, um, I in my spirit and immediately I said, yes. Um, I'm going to do it. And I, I clicked on this video she sent me to watch and I just loved her spirit. And I think she's a beautiful woman and I just want the best for you. I was praying for you earlier. I just pray that whatever it is that you want, that God gives it to you. So I'm excited. I'm ready for you to make these crab cakes, honey. And I cannot wait for you to try them. Okay. okay Y'all better so try the recipe. Get started. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. So we're going to get cooking. I see everybody coming through. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the super chats. Uh, please support Miss Aisha and my gift to Miss Aisha for saying yes. Any cash apps that come to me are going directly to her during this stream. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let me bring up my counter. And we're going to do this view right here. Okay. I love it. Oh, thank you. All right. So we've got the cookbook and we have the recipe, but we have the recipe creator with us today. So even That's better. Right. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to show you all. This is the crab cake recipe that is in Miss, Miss Aisha's cookbook. So we need crab meat, mayo, mustard, lemon juice, onions, bell pepper, club crackers. How do you say this? Is it Worcestershire? <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. And I used to be a waitress, so that's how I know. I wondered about that. <laughs> so I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to start prepping the uh, bell pepper and the onion. But if you would let us know how you started cooking, I'm the daughter of a retired uh, home economics teacher. And my okay. mom, just whenever she was in the kitchen, my dad said, Maggie, in the kitchen. So I'd love to know how you get started in the, in the kitchen. Okay, well, I'm definitely inspired by my grandmother. If you follow my page, I have a picture of her on my countertop, have always had a picture of her from the very beginning when I started cooking with Aisha. I love her so much. Um, she's very inspirational in my life. So she used to cook all the time. And I just feel like she imparted some things to me, but it wasn't until I was nine years old, I was staying with my mom at the time. She was heavy in her addiction and I had to go in the kitchen and like make something up because she wasn't around a lot to cook. And that's how I got started at nine years old. So I've been cooking for over 30 years. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. I have such a heart and a passion for cooking. So it makes me proud to be able to share um, those recipes with you all. <laughs> yes, and it definitely shows. We can tell the love. So I'm going to move our Thank spices you. here and I'm going to turn my cutting board. I'm going to start with the bell pepper and then I'm going to get to the onion. I have okay. a little hack on how to keep from crying when you uh, cut onions, but I'd love to know when you're doing your prep, especially with onion, is there any little hack that you use to keep from crying? Wash this. Um, no, it's actually not. <laughs> I just cook them not some I mean cut them sometimes when I cut onions I'm completely fine and then sometimes when I cut them y'all I just be struggling so I don't know if it's a certain type of onion I normally buy the yellow onions um but different ones definitely are more stronger than the others because normally yes. I'm fine so which ones do you have today the yellow onion Yes, ma'am. I have one yellow onion. So we're going to dice this. I believe okay. red onion and of course, like shallots and green onions are a lot milder, but mm -hmm. white onions and yellow onions, and especially with me wearing glasses. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I'm struggling too. Yes. Uh, so I'm going <laughs> to cut my pepper. Now your recipe says, and you can walk me through this for the red pepper. So for anybody new here, I'm going to go, I do everything from scratch as well. I've been inspired by Miss Aisha. So <laughs> I am going to prep the vegetables first and then we'll do the assembly. So I'm skipping down to the red onion here. I'm sorry, red bell pepper. It's a quarter cup. So I'm going to just so go you ahead. need a half. Half so of, half of that. Yep. Half of that uh, red bell pepper will be just fine. Perfect. And Perfect. also half of that onion. And like I always share with those who follow my recipes, please always do your own thing. If there's something you don't like or something you want less of, don't feel like you have to add all of the ingredients. The main thing I want you to get is get the seasonings um, because that is what that combination of seasonings is what's going to give you that flavor that you want, honey. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can use as little or as much of the red bell pepper and the onion as you like, Maggie. 
Okay. Well, I love peppers and onions. I like them fresh. Me too. I like them sauteed <laughs> um, in a quesadilla or fajita or whatever. So I'm going to definitely go with half here. And I love, love, love your Southern accent. Would you like Thank to you. share uh, anything about where you call home? <sighs> Oh, that's a good question. Um, well, I was born in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, I did not stay there long. I was a baby when my father uh, moved us back to St. Louis. And that's how I got into, uh, you know, the home with my grandmother. I was about two when my dad took me back to St. Louis. And my dad was a great father. It's just that he was working a lot. He was in a band. He's still in the band. He plays the bass guitar. He's amazing at that. I can't wait to get him on live to play for you all. But he was out a lot just, you know, doing his thing. My grandmother was retired, so I would be with her. So I consider St. Louis, Missouri my home because I've lived there most of my life. I love Tallahassee, Florida, but my home is what I consider St. Louis. Plus, that's the place where my grandmother was and my father, and they are a big part of my heart. So, but don't get it twisted because I love the South now. I love to be considered a country girl. I'm very country. I love to fish. I do all of that. I love to get dirty. Honey, I'm not afraid of none of that. I do all of that. All of the above. <laughs> so I love being considered a country girl. I go oh fishing. I, I hook my own worms. I do all of that. I take my fish off by myself. I can cut my fish. I clean them. I gut them. I take them home and I cook them. So that is me. <laughs> okay. Well, if Miss Aisha is a country girl, I will say I'm a Southern girl. I was actually born in Ghana in West Africa. My family came wow. to the U.S. for education. So I'm uh, an immigrant, but we came here when I was one and I grew up in Athens, Georgia. So everybody in my family went to Georgia, except for me. But um, I definitely love the Southern charm and the Southern hospitality. And I, I'm a boy mom, so sometimes I have to get dirty, even though I don't want to. But uh, <laughs> I'm definitely a girly girl. Cool. <laughs> I'm a little bit of both. I'm kind of a girly girl, but I'm also a tomboy. Like, I don't, I, I guess I don't mind getting dirty. I'm not prissy. You know, some, um, some women don't like to get dirty. Like, I'll get dirty, but then I'll get back cute again. So I'm okay. <laughs> Absolutely. As long as you get back cute again. I love it. And you are a uh, home cook. And you also said that you were a waitress. But what I tell people on my class, like, I'm just a mom and a home cooker. I've never been to culinary school. Have you been nope. to culinary school? Or do you think, you know, what do you think about, um, you know, those of us who are not professionally trained? Well, I've never been to culinary school and I'm going to tell you something. I'm okay with that. And that's why you'll never hear me call myself a chef. People mm -hmm. who follow me know that I am very good about correcting people if they try to call me a chef, because mm -hmm. I feel like those people have earned that accolade. Like I'm not trying to take nobody's shine. Um, I would like to go to culinary school at some point, not necessarily to learn how to cook. I believe school just helps to add to assinuate what you already have. You mm -hmm. have to already have the skill and the gift or the, mainly the gift. You have to have that already. And school just helps to enhance it. It's mm -hmm. not going to make you into be something that you're already not. So, you know, cooking culinary school rather is uh, good to go to learn more things. I feel like I can always learn more. I love learning. And I'm also a teacher. So it's it's great because I'm always learning and I'm always giving out. So Absolutely, but I would never yes. I call myself a home cook and I'm proud of it. I'm a home <laughs> cook as well. So we've got our peppers diced. Is this OK? Yes, looks okay. perfect. So now I'm going to move to the onion. And Miss Aisha says we only need half an onion. So I'm going to show you all mm -hmm. the little hack that I've learned when it comes to cutting an onion without crying. So what I learned, and I made a little YouTube short about this, whatever fumes are released when you cut an onion, they're looking for the closest water source. So that's why they come for our eyes and the tears. But if you get a little container of water and you put it next to where you're cutting, weirdly, the fumes will go towards that water and wow. you won't cry. Exactly. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right. Look at Maggie giving us some hacks, honey. <laughs> Thank you, Maggie. Thank you. You're Hi. so welcome. We're never the uh, master of our craft. And I love Absolutely. what you said about culinary school. So when you go, I want to go too. So I'm just going to put a little tap yes. water in this. Okay. Yes. And we can always learn something. <laughs> just set it right here. And then we're going to cut this onion and we're just going to cut it in half and then dice. So just yes. go straight down here. 
and I don't have proper cutting skills. So if anybody, there's so many ways to Girl, do this. Girl, listen, but... me either, child. We just going to cut, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. So You're doing a off. great job. As long as you uh -huh. can cut it, that's all that matters. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, my mom always cooked for the family. And it's just one of those things that she started me young, just chopping, you know, the vegetables mm -hmm. and doing the prep. And that's like, you know, what she was doing. I was just there helping out. Look, Maggie, we're going to leave all the fancy stuff to the chefs. OK, <laughs> we just going to cut our stuff the best way we can. OK, exactly. <laughs> So, you know, when you see in a recipe when it says diced, to, to me, that just means small enough that mm -hmm. you don't have big chunks of onion in whatever, you know, you're, you're cooking. So you just want to get it kind of like small enough like this. And then I'm going to run the knife. Uh oh, do we lose our, there we go. Yeah, we lost it. Okay. But it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to run the, look, we call it struggle streaming over here. So uh, sometimes, and, and I appreciate that because you have had issues with lighting. Girl, sound. yes. Woo. I've had a lot of issues. You know, and oh, I tell people, you go live, you don't know what's going to happen. And for me, it seemed like something always seems to happen. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You don't know how nervous I was to do this, but I'm like, you know what? If anybody would understand, Miss Aisha would understand. I understand, Maggie. I do. All right. You know. So you guys see, I'm I'm getting it done without any tears. And I'm just going to go over through this and just keep it close to uh -huh. the water while you're dicing. And then that way you won't have any tears. If you all have any other so tips awesome. or hacks, please share because we don't know everything. We're just trying Absolutely. To <laughs> I always be asking my people, y'all share with me. <laughs> my people have helped me a lot. I have some really great supporters that follow me. Like they, they'll give me great tips while I'm cooking. And I just, they don't even know how much I really appreciate it because we don't know everything. And I'm not a person that claim to know everything. Exactly. I can always learn something new. <laughs> so. You're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. So you guys see, it's just me and my cell phones, y'all. So forgive me. I am not a professional. <laughs> One day it's going to be a proper cooking show. Today is not that day. I'm just trying to get through this uh, this onion. But Miss Aisha, if you would uh, share how you got started, I know your story about the stuffed pancake. Uh, yeah. But how did you start uh, cooking online? It it was just that. So I I was laying in the bed. I love telling this story because God is so good. I'm laying in the bed on a Saturday morning, you all. I had planned on that Friday ahead of time because what I wanted to do on Saturday morning, I was a single mom of five children and my kids were much younger then because we were talking about back in 2017. Mm -hmm. And um, it was May 13th of 2017, a Saturday morning. And the Friday before I went and bought cereal, all kinds of cereal and milk so that when my kids got up on Saturday, Saturday morning, they could leave me alone. That was the plan. Y'all get up, make you some cereal and let mommy sleep in. And then I'll join you all soon. <laughs> mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. the Lord, but the Holy Spirit woke me up, honey, early on May 13th of 2017 and said, go post your stuff pancake. And I, I remember saying, why? I literally asked that. I said, God, why? I said, now, you know, I went and bought that cereal so that I didn't have to make breakfast this morning. So why are you not telling me to get up and go prepare a stuffed pancake? I'm, I'm serious. Oh I literally said this. And the Holy Spirit said again, go post your stuffed pancake. Me being me, I got up. I don't play with God. So I get up. And I go downstairs, I prepare all this stuff because I had to cook all of it, the bacon, the ham, the eggs. I had to prepare all this stuff. And I tell my daughter, Aaliyah, I said, come on, we're, we're making this stuffed pancake video. She's like, okay. Mm -hmm. So she comes and she's holding the camera and I'm making the stuffed pancake. I post it and it goes viral. I have no idea about social media. Don't know nothing about social media. Don't know nothing about nothing. I just posted it and went viral. And I was just like, what do I do? <laughs> I'm like, what does this mean? What what is happening? Like, oh so goodness. we just watched, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of people. It got up to over twenty some million views. We, I'm telling, people just reaching out to me saying, "Oh my god, oh my god." I'm like, I don't know what it means. I don't know what to do. And so it was on my profile. So eventually, I started a cook my cooking with Aisha page. But I didn't even know, like to this day, I don't know a lot about social media like that. Um, but I've since had many viral videos since then. So that's how I got here. I wasn't trying to be here. Love y'all. But I wasn't trying to be here. I'm a very person. I'm a background person. I'm mm -hmm. not a person that like to be in the front. I don't, I do not like to be on camera. That's not me. Um, so now that I know I have purpose, I can show up with confidence. But before I was very shy because I don't like to be in the forefront. I do not. I, mm -hmm. I'd rather be in the back. 
Okay, so um, I'm just letting God have his way. And that's how I got here. I love that story. <laughs> and you know what? I didn't know that you had not thought when you got the calling to post the pancakes, you had already made them. Now, we had a question here. I'm going to answer and then get our lemon squeezed. So for everybody joining, my name is Maggie. I'm Matt, a new YouTube cooking channel and Facebook and Instagram. And I think TikTok and Twitter. Miss Aisha, because she has a cookbook, and I asked her to do it myself. That she said yes. So thank you all so much for being here. Um, but my cooking channel, when I started my own health and wellness journey, I, I was trying to come up with creative ways to eat the foods that I, the ingredients that I have to eat. So I would just do all my own cooking. Then when I, I would get to the finished product, I would and I would post that this is what I'm eating today. Day. And people started saying, oh, you're really good. First of all, did you? Yes, I did. And then they would say, wow, that looks really good. How did you make that? And so I was putting in the comments, first you do this, and then you do this. So we were having this conversation and that was it. Across uh, a mentor of mine, the lead attorney who has a YouTube channel. He's up to YouTube streaming when the pandemic happened. And uh, he's so good good at it now he's heard him say if you're over 35 you need to start a youtube channel because you have life i think so and i'm thinking well people are always asking me about the food that i'm making so i just turn on explaining to people what i had been answering all along so that's who i am and how i do so 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 much and wow i'm so glad you were obedient okay Thank you. And Maggie, the, the audio is chopping up. It's kind of choppy. So okay. um, I could I could make out what you were saying, but um, I know that you will see in the comments, it's saying the audio is choppy. <laughs> and I'm back. Hopefully that's okay. better. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So uh, were you saying that, were you able to hear the story or it didn't come through? Um, can you do it one more time? Only because I mean, I, now, I could make out what you were saying, but I, I know it was kind of difficult to kind of follow a little bit. So, <laughs> okay. So sorry guys. It's me and my <laughs> iPad and iPhone. I don't have professional <laughs> equipment. But, um, what I was saying is that my YouTube channel for anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. I've been on a health and wellness journey and I call myself the substitute teacher because it's actually sugar-free, dairy-free and gluten-free. When I started my health and wellness journey and I changed what I was eating, because I used to be pre-diabetic, used to have uh, borderline cholesterol and used to have elevated uh, blood pressure. And I was actually in your uh, weight loss support group as well, Miss Aisha. So I would just cook. <laughs> absolutely. We're doing it. I'm down 80 pounds. <laughs> Thank you. At least 20 more I'll to go. That. Thank you. Amen. Sure. So um, I started making the food that I needed to eat on my health and wellness journey. And then... I would post the finished product and people would say, first of all, did you make that? And I would say, yeah, I made that. Then they started asking me, how did you make that? So that's where I was mm. saying, go back in and in the comments, first you do this and then you do this and then you did this. So then when I came across the lead attorney who is a mentor of mine, I'm a proud student of his, he's actually a retired attorney here in Atlanta who took to YouTube live streaming during the pandemic when everything was shut down. And mm. I heard him say, if you're over 35, you need to start a YouTube channel because you have life experience that people need to know. And I thought mm. to myself, wait a minute, people are always asking me about these meals that I prepare. So I started my channel basically live streaming what I was doing because I had been answering it anyway. So that's who I am and how wow. I started. <laughs> <laughs> that's All exciting. Right. I'm glad that's you did great. though. I'm glad me you started. Too. Me too. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, so we've got our red pepper diced and we've got our onions Onion. diced. Now we need a half teaspoon of lemon juice. I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half and just squeeze uh, so we have fresh as best. But okay. if you all don't have, uh, I'm sure this is a good substitute as well. I'm going to go ahead and wash this. Thank you, dear. I see y'all comments. <laughs> I yes. appreciate you all being here. And um, those that are catching the replay, honey. Yes, okay. absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> and Maggie, I want you to be sharing more into the weight loss group. 
Oh, a yes, lot of people could definitely use, you know, your gluten free and things like that, girl. Absolutely. I definitely <laughs> will. I stream every day. And thank you. And that's the other thing I love about you, Miss Aisha. You're always um, encouraging us to share what we're doing. I never want to just assume, you know, how sometimes people just come in and tell about themselves. So I yeah. just always wait. But uh, thank you for the invitation. I definitely will be sharing, especially welcome. because we're all creatures of habit. And we all just kind of eat what we've always eaten. And sometimes people Mm -hmm. just don't know. So when we get to the assembly part, I'm definitely going to show you all some other ingredients. I'm going to make the full flavor recipe tonight, but happy to share with you all. And thank you so much. Oh, thank you you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. (laughs) Maggie is amazing, honey. (laughs) Oh my God. That is high praise coming from you. You are. You are. Thank and you. I know, you know, but it's good to hear other people tell us too. You are amazing. So oh, and that's one so of the main much. reasons I want people to always share because I feel like we all have a gift to share. I just believe Absolutely. that. I do. Absolutely. Like, hey, yeah. share what you got. We all need each other. I don't know why people don't get that. We need each yes. other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have There's something to bring to the good. table. I promise you. 100%. Yes. I believe yes. that. You better know it. You better know it. And once you so realize I'm, it, then yeah. Okay, Maggie. Oh, no, no. I, I want to respect your time. So I want to make sure oh, I'm no, not you go ahead. So. <laughs> okay. You're fine. So I poured out the water, you guys. I was able to cut the onion without crying. So hopefully that tip helps. So I just poured this out and I'm going to use this lemon juicer. So we, we get our fresh lemon juice. Lemon goes great mm-hmm. with citrus. So this I just got mm-hmm. from Walmart. You just cut it in half and then you're going to put the seed side down in here. So this catches the seeds and I'm just going to squeeze. I'm going to squeeze the whole thing and then we'll measure out whatever we need for our crab okay. cake. So you all can see it's literally just coming out. All right. I need so one of those. <laughs> I will I will send you one and a live one. Oh, the Maggie merch. You. Absolutely. You send me an address, I'll send you a nice little gift. I box. sure will. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. So I think we have... So crab, mayo, mustard, lemon, onion, pepper. Okay, so now is it time for me to crush the crackers or you tell mm-hmm. me? You can go ahead and crush with? those because okay. the thing about it is this recipe is so amazing because it's just really simple. All you do is you combine all your ingredients in a bowl, literally combine okay. it. And then now the only thing, the crackers is the only ingredient that you're not going to add all of them. You're just going to add part of them into your bowl once, you know, with the mixture. So just... um you want to crumble up? Does it call for what eighteen crackers? Those it are does. Small. I was going to ask you about um, that. So it says, don't, "Go eight. ahead and do do half of that for now, because um, okay. you have a smaller can too." So sometimes we have to. It's, it's all about how much we're making, um, because what you're going to do is you're going to put some of them. See, I use the bigger one, the claw meat. I think that's okay, the one I I'm use in my recipe. Because I'm going to share okay, it. so that's uh-huh. why. I, okay. okay. So that's why I did the 18 crackers, because I actually used the bigger portion. But as you saw, she had a smaller container because you can get that. Then you would Mm -hmm. just use less of that because you don't need as many of the crushed crackers for those who are following the recipe. So So we've got a question for you, Miss Aisha. I'm just going to share with you all. So this is the club crackers. You can get these at any grocery store. This is what's in Miss Aisha's recipe. If you want a gluten-free option, these are the crackers that I usually eat. There's several brands, Mary's, Mary Gone. Um, you can get rice crackers or seed crackers or things that don't have flour if you need to avoid the grains. Today is a special day, so we're going to do her recipe, but I just always like to show you all some substitutes. And this is just sea salt, but they have other flavors too. And we are making crab cakes, Miguel. But we had a question from Brenda about how can they find you, uh, Miss Aisha? Link is in the description. I'm everywhere. Like, okay, so literally you can Google me. You could just Google cooking with Aisha and it will lead you to all of my platforms. I am on Instagram is cooking um, underscore Aisha, um, cooking underscore with underscore Aisha. But like I said, if you Google me, it'll lead you everywhere. Facebook is only one cooking with Aisha. Um, of course, there's multiple fake pages, but I have over a million followers on that page. So normally anywhere I am, it's, I have a large following. So that's normally how you know it's the right page. I'm not uh, verified yet because you have to actually do media work in order to get verified. So I'm just waiting on the right timing for that. Um, and then um, TikTok, same thing. It's cooking with Aisha and um, YouTube, same thing. Cooking with Aisha. So <laughs> My goodness. you can and find me everywhere. Say, 
<laughs> when you say I have over a million followers, I know you don't think of the numbers, but I'm sure you remember, I saw you celebrated five years not too long ago, but I'm sure you remember <laughs> when you started. We've got some YouTubers in the community who you know, are starting out just like me. I started with 30 subscribers and it was my family. Uh -huh. um, so um, how does it feel or what, what do you think about when, when you say I have a million subscribers or do you think about it? Um, I don't think about it. I actually didn't even know I had a million followers when I had it. I'm actually almost at 1.5 million. Um, I remember when uh, I remember just <laughs> I had missed a notification about it because I actually never kept up with how many people were following me. Um, again, it goes back to me just not really knowing much about social media. I think sometimes we we have these expectations, but I really didn't have any. I didn't know how many people I should gain at a certain amount of time or mm. like I never paid attention to that. So even now I don't pay attention to it. If I post something, if it gets one view, I'm happy. Like that's just the way I am. I've always been like that. Um, and, and the thing about it is we really don't know how many views or follows we should have. Like what, what is good enough for you? And when you think about that, you'll never come to a number because you mm -hmm. may say, oh, if I got a hundred thousand views right now, that'll make me happy. But I promise you, once you get that, it won't satisfy you. That's why you just should just be grateful for whatever you get. Like, I mean, it'll reach the right people at the right time. So I, I don't worry about that kind of stuff. So it doesn't, I don't know. I don't I, think about I, it. <laughs> not that big of a that, deal to me <laughs> that is the first that is an absolute first because usually that's the one thing people focus on and especially with channels like ours where you're cooking what you're going to eat and what your family's going to eat i'm cooking what i'm going to eat the boys are at their dad's tonight but usually they're you know kids running around it's like i can't be concerned <laughs> about that i'll look right. at that later like we got hungry <laughs> hungry people uh, yeah. so we uh. have another question for you so i'm going to count out 18 crackers and then i just put them in a ziploc bag and mash them with the rolling pin is that mm -hmm. okay or yes, ma'am that's technique? what i did okay. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm going to mute myself while i'm doing that but there's a question girl do you have a favorite meal that you like to make mm, good question um i actually get this question often and I'm sorry if you all can hear my thing going off but <laughs> I get that question often um my favorite thing to eat is Chinese food but I like my own Chinese food so I guess if I would have to say the first the favorite thing that I like to make would have to be like my fried rice I love fried rice I love egg foo young those are two of my most fave and then um I love seafood but not I've noticed that I'm 40 now and probably about a year ago, I started changing with that. So I think it's an age thing. Um, so, cause I don't like seafood the way I used to. I used to be able to eat crab. Uh, Y'all know, I love blue crab. If you've been following me, I used to make blue crab all the time, but now I don't even have a desire for them. But I think a part of the reason too is because if you are in my weight loss group, we do fast a lot. We fast multiple times throughout the year. And I think a part of it has been the fast breaking some of uh, those cravings off of me. So now I don't crave food. I don't, I don't have cravings. Um, I used to have them. I used to have them really badly. So I think God just gave me, um, he broke me free of food. So there are things I have a taste for, like, oh, I have a taste for this, but it's not a craving where I have to have it. Y'all know how a craving is. You craving a chocolate bar, you're going to go oh, get my. it. I don't care if you have to get up at one o'clock in the morning. You're like, I got to have it. So um, God, I just feel like yes. through the fast, that God broke off those cravings. So, you know. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yes, we all, when you make those changes, it's hard in the beginning. And then you're just like, you look at stuff. I'm like, I can't believe I used to. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. For sharing. <laughs> all right. Yes. How it does this delicious. look? look we Okay. It looks great. So is it time for me to get a bowl to put everything mm -hmm. in? Okay. So let it me get a time. bowl. All right. So let's get a big, big bowl here. Yeah, this recipe is super easy, you all. Once you actually have all your ingredients, like she prepared them, got those together, you just get a bowl, honey, and we're going to mix this together. Now, Maggie, is your, I think you're choppy again. So let's see. Okay. It's kind of, um, I'm gonna let's see when you refresh. say something. Okay. She's going to refresh. <laughs> hey, daddy girl. <laughs> okay. We're going to see if this works, you all. Last time she refreshed, it helped out. So. Yes. And we're back. Yeah. 
Okay. You're good. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> so I heard what you said. This is an easy recipe. We've got our prep stuff back here. So um, I guess let's see what it says here. It just says combine all ingredients in a large bowl. So does it matter the order or should I just start going in? It don't matter the order, honey. Okay. Let's let's but, let's add the crab first. Let's add the crab first. Okay. So let's do that. So we've got one can of crab meat, or if you don't have the canned crab, you can see in her recipe here, and this comes from her cookbook. So please support Miss Aisha. Her cookbook is in the description. This is her first of several. Um, so I have from Publix, which is a grocery store here in the South. This is claw crab meat. I'm sure you could do this with like lump crab. Would this? Is there any crab it doesn't work with? Um, I wouldn't use imitation. Um, so as long as you have crab meat, you can get it in the can or you can get the fresh like Maggie. That's the one I use for my recipe. Um, now mo most of my recipes, 99% of them are budget friendly. I know crab can be a little high, but she mm -hmm. has the canned crab that is a little on the less expensive side. The, the fresh crab is going to be more. So you see, she has the white crab, the bumblebee. You can grab that. Um, if you just want to go less with the price. But it's going to be more okay. if you get it the fresh one. Yeah. So this at Publix, and y'all can see, I mean, it's like a little soup cup container. This was about $12. And I think this was in the $3 price range. And yeah. look, we all know we got families and, you know, stuff hey. is expensive. I always like to share. <laughs> yep. Um, and do what you got to do because y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I saw Mr. Ray Mac here. I have also followed your channel. So incredible that you are here. Yes, I will do a, a video. I think I have a short on my video. It's basically an overarm. Um, and I'll show you the box. If you guys want to know, I'm going to show you right now. Because if I don't, I'll forget. Let me get this. I'm the up. same way. <laughs> yeah, I got to do it. For Either you I have now. to write a note or I have to do it right then because I will forget. Okay. So... This is what I have, and it just came from, no, is this it? Yes. Okay, so the brand is V-I-O-Z-O-N, and I do have a link in the description. If you look for something that says cheat sheet, a lot of the supplies that I use, I put in the cheat sheet, but you can see here it's got the ring light, it's got a stand for my iPad, and then this is what you're looking, my phone is clamped up here. I'm gonna show you all, look how bad I am. See, <laughs> right here. <laughs> I'm not a professional, but this is what I'm okay. if you want to screenshot it. This right here. And it came from Amazon Biozon, and it's an iPad and iPhone all in one. That is nice. And you're doing amazing. <laughs> oh my God. You Can are. You you're doing amazing. You okay. I don't just be saying stuff. I mean it. <laughs> you are. So we're going to. Oh. Uh oh, Maggie, we can't hear you. She'll look up in a second. And we're. <laughs> I told them, I said, she'll look up Thank in a second. <laughs> Thank you for being patient with me. All right, so we're going to open this. This just came from Publix. So this is the, the fresh one, and we're just going to pop the top. You can get this in the seafood department mm -hmm. um, in, like, the refrigerated section. Um, so I heard what Miss Aisha said, anything except for the imitation. So we've yeah. got our fresh crab here. If you want to take it out of the shell yourself, feel free. But we're just going to put mm -hmm. this in the bowl just like that. And I like a kitchen snack. So I don't know. Do you taste while you're cooking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, right. who doesn't taste while they're cooking, exactly. girl? You gotta taste it. <laughs> and all the right, thing so about it, you're in your own kitchen. You're in the comfort of your own kitchen. You can do all those things. That's the mm -hmm. beauty of it. You know, we're Absolutely. not at a restaurant. We're at home. <laughs> we are at home. So we have it our crab great. in here. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's see what is next on the recipe. We're just going to go down, you guys. So now it says two tablespoons of mayo and the capital T is tablespoon and the little t is teaspoon. So let's get two tablespoons. Especially for those who get my second cookbook because I didn't do TSP. I just did lowercase t. Lowercase mm -hmm. t is teaspoon. Capital T is tablespoon. 
So I'm using regular mayo, but I do want to give you all a substitute option. Beverages and condiments, I always say, are a huge place where you can save calories. So this brand right here, Walden Farms, they make sauces, spreads, dressings. I have a whole bunch of them. Sugar-free, calorie-free, fat-free. So they are an apple wow. cider vinegar base. Now, I will say this, because honest, just like you're honest, this has mm -hmm. a little bit of that zing, kind of like a miracle whip. You know how regular okay. mayo is more like smooth and creamy. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like that flavor, I always like to tell people, but in a sandwich or whatever, it's excellent. But for this recipe, I'm just going to go ahead and use regular. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lawrence, for being here. Yes, they, they taste it. It's a must. All right. So we're going to yes, go yes, in yes. with two. Mm -hmm. right, so we have two tablespoons. We'll take that down, put that in here. Let me get a little spatula so we get it all out. I'm greedy. Yes, we need all of that, honey. <laughs> exactly. No mayo left behind. I love uh, Dukes too. I love Dukes. So, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. All right. So, this we have be our great. Mayo. I'm excited. I'm excited too. All right. So, then let's see what's next on here after the mayo. Then we need one teaspoon of mustard. So, let's get a teaspoon. Let's this out. All right. So, we have our little teaspoon measure here. So, I have just regular old French's mustard like you would put on a hot dog. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Christine says, I'm tasting as I go. Oh, we have Mr. Option One in the house. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. All right. So we're going to go in <clears throat> with a teaspoon of mustard. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so far, we have our crab and we have our Duke's mayo. So give the mustard a good shake. Y'all know how it comes out. Yes. <laughs> so we have a <laughs> teaspoon of yellow mustard. So we're going to put that in there. And just make sure we get all of that. All right. Let's see what else is next. Now we need a half teaspoon of lemon juice. So I just squeezed it fresh. So let me get a half teaspoon. So we have one of these. Now, do you measure like this or do you just kind of? Girl, you know, listen, the only, the only way I measure, see, I cook differently every time I cook. So the, the cookbook was a challenge. People don't even understand me making a cookbook is a challenge. Cause when I go in the kitchen, honey, I just cook for my soul. I just be like, Ooh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And it just comes out great. <laughs> I but when I made the cookbook, you know, of course I had to, it, it was a challenge. Cause I had to literally go in and do what you're doing. Like measure everything out, like, huh, you know, Aww. to get the recipe right. So, um, oh no. I'm still here. Can oh, you there it is. Okay. Okay. It. We had a connection yes. to you. Yeah. Oh, I know. So, um, so but yeah. <laughs> Thank you for so, saying that. It is hard to make a cookbook because it's it like is. kind of how you feel, but I understand people want to know what they're getting. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Options. So, I give you good recipes, but the thing is, when I cook, when y'all see me on live and stuff, look, you got to go to the cookbook for their recipe because this is something <laughs> completely different what I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay. It ain't going to so look the same. It ain't going to look the same. <laughs> And that's totally fine. If I need to add more of anything, I will. And thank you so much for the compliment, May. I try to explain. I try to be a little bit of a, a teacher as I go, because like you know, Miss Aisha, all of us are at different levels of cooking. And so mm -hmm. I never assume people, oh, everybody just knows that. So we have our crab, yeah. our mayo, our mustard, and I'm going in with a half teaspoon. This is um, fresh squeezed lemon juice. I'm sure if you like more lemon, you could do even more than that. But this is what we got out of our lemon. All right. <laughs> Maggie, I'm going yeah. to mute you just a second. I have a grocery delivery. I'm going to mute you just a second. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who doesn't do this? Now you know, y'all. She's at home just like me. How many times have y'all heard me say, one moment, I got a grocery delivery? I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we will let her tend to her grocery delivery. And then next, we've got a quarter cup of the diced onion. Uh, yes, Celeste is also cooking from her soul. Mr. Option One, if you just hopped on, for anyone who just hopped on, I believe Ms. Aisha said she is originally from Tallahassee, or born in Tallahassee, and then lived in St. Louis. Um, I'll ask her again where she calls home, but uh, she's got, she's a Southern girl. <laughs> okay. Sorry. That wasn't even about my groceries, y'all. That was about the bird. It was a, e is it egret or it was some big white bird that came in my yard last night and they had to pick it up this morning or today. So... I thought it was the grocery delivery, y'all. It's something else. It was about the bird. Oh my goodness. I love <laughs> but it. But they already no, picked the bird up. They picked the bird up. So. <laughs> Wonderful. 
Wonderful. We have a question for Mr. Option One. Now, I know you explained your background already, but your accent, where would you say that accent comes from? Is it an Alabama accent, a Missouri a accent, Florida accent? I, think, I don't know, because me being born in Florida, but raised mainly in St. Louis, um, when I'm in St. Louis, people always say that I sound like I'm not from there. And then when I'm in Florida, people say, you don't sound like you're from here. So they kind of disown me both places, I think. Um, I don't know where my accent came from. <laughs> Well, it is so distinct no, and we know. love it. We Thank absolutely you. love it. Even when you're doing your cooking videos where you're just focusing on the food and you're not showing your face, we know. Y'all know I'm Miss Aisha. Uh, <laughs> they they recognize me in the store like that. They say, wait a minute. What, you, I know you. I said, you do? <laughs> your voice, your voice. I said, people literally recognize me by my, by my voice. So when I don't want to be known, I'd be whispering to my, you know, because <laughs> yes, people yes. will point me out by my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And thank you so much for sharing this on your channels as well. I saw people checking in from Virginia. I'd love oh, to know where hey. people are watching from. We got Georgia boys in the house. I'm a Georgia girl. You know, I'm a Southern girl. You're a country girl. All of us. Yay. Are one thing I love about food because it brings people together. But yes, y'all shout out where your uh, hometown yes. is. Share where you're from, oh. honey. Yes. Alabama so we in have the house. Alabama's in the house. All right. <laughs> All right. I love it. Okay. So we have our crab, mayo, mustard, and there's some lemon juice in there. So next we need a quarter cup of onion and a quarter cup of red pepper. So that's what we started off dicing. So I just moved it uh -huh. behind me so you all could see. So let's grab that. All right. So you tell me, should I uh, measure? I've got like some little ramekins. Should I measure a quarter cup, quarter cup, or just go ahead and dump them both in there? I would sprinkle a little bit of each. That's what I would do. Let's do that. Let's do it. Yep, yeah, that's what I would do, honey. I would, yeah, like that. A little bit okay. more if you want it. And okay. Yeah. Because it's all, it's because it really is all about what you want, especially when it comes to the onions and peppers. So okay. if you love them, feel free to add as much as you want. But if you know you're not a big person on that, but you can take it, tolerate it, just do a little yeah. bit, sprinkle a little okay. bit. Absolutely. Because that's well, not I'm what's making your recipe, it's the flavor. Remember that okay. it's the flavor of those seasonings. That's what's going to make them crab cakes jump, honey. <laughs> you I'm sorry, see. every time you say you honey. See. <laughs> I say it a lot too. Oh my gosh. I don't even realize I'm saying it. <laughs> I know. I love it. It's so, oh, it's so organic. Someone else said this is so organic. And for a minute, I was like, are we cooking organic? I don't know if this crab is organic. <laughs> <laughs> oh you're so funny maggie <laughs> it is though like i'm enjoying this and onions crab it looks mayo, good mustard. looks good okay it looks so great we have um the 18 club crackers so is it time to put those in or wait until we do the you can because it's i mean we're we're doing everything together so okay. it, it really does not matter the steps in which you add everything i just wanted her to put them the crab in first yeah <laughs> so yeah. i would just take about um half of that okay or if you want to do a little less that's okay so okay. listen just always remember that the um the breadcrumb what they're being used for is to help hold your crab cake together so mm -hmm. you don't need a whole lot so for those that don't know just but make sure you put some of it in there because you need some okay. of that bread uh the or you can use breadcrumb. It's all about what you want. So I like the club cracker because it has good flavor and mm -hmm. it's going to, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh my God, okay. So we did, this is, um, this is like a third of a cup. Um, so mm -hmm. it's probably, yeah, I'd say that's about half. So is that looking pretty good so far? Oh yes, honey. <laughs> I was telling okay. Latasha earlier, I was like, uh, my crab cakes are good, y'all. Y'all got to try them. So I knew I was going to oh, be excited. I cannot wait. <laughs> I knew I was going to be excited. And the last thing is a teaspoon of the Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have that here. And this is regular old Walmart um, shire. And let's get our teaspoon. We just used it for the mustard. So it's okay. Let's see. Have I opened this? All right. So we're just going to go. I am big on the unnamed brands. <laughs> Exactly. You don't, you don't have to have that name brand. I'm big on great value. Exactly. Where is Brandon L. Jet? Shout out to the Walmart water. That's what I'm drinking. This yes. Sparkling okay, water. Okay, now. 
<laughs> I love that. And that's the thing that I love. Like even with a million and a half followers, like at the end of the day, we're all people and just doing we the are. best that we can. And you know what? That's right. I don't have everything perfect. I got Walmart brand and we're going to make it work. And so that's right. That is fun. Girl, it, I do that all the time. I go in there and make it work. Exactly. You know? exactly. <laughs> I will okay. create a meal in a second. That looks oh, amazing. So yes. do you get in here with hands? Do you mix it or how do you get it all together? However you want to do what you want to do. <laughs> well, I feel like, you know, I'm on, I'm on with her. I'm on with Miss Aisha. So I should probably be probably I do. Kind of, you know? <laughs> and I always do a little bit of both. Sometimes okay. I cook with my hands. Sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. I wear gloves and sometimes I, you know, do it like you're doing right there. It smells you smell so it? good. Oh my gosh. Oh, got wait, it. Maggie, I need you to add in a teaspoon of uh, Old Bay yes, and a teaspoon of Greek All Purpose, please. Okay, absolutely. All right. So I'm just going to clean off the teaspoon from the mustard and get some more seasons yes. in there. Absolutely. Man, y'all, it smells so good. Now, I know I don't usually eat club crackers, but y'all know they're buttery and they're yes. just like. <laughs> so, so good. All right. So, Miss uh, Aisha said the Old Bay seasoning. So, we're going to go in with our teaspoon and uh -huh. give it some extra flavor. So, you all know when you put your measuring cup in here, that straight edge is for you to slide it out. And Let me see. Hold on. Let easy. me see that. That's a lot. Don't do not do all of that. Do like a little bit. Just, okay. shake, just shake some in there. Like a, uh-huh. And do a little more. Okay. That's good. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then and right, do the same so thing with the Greek. Don't don't do the whole okay. teaspoon. Just, yeah, just shake yes, a little. Bit. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So if you all have seen Miss Aisha's cooking, you know this is one of her go-to's. <laughs> I showing. love this stuff. <laughs> Tell us about it. Um, for those who aren't familiar, you use this on everything. What what do you love about it? Um, I love that it's a perfect combination of is salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. I don't know what else they have in it, but I like the balance of it. Um, there are many mm -hmm. seasons out there. I'm not saying it's the best, but that seasoning there, honey, when I tell you, it's so good and you don't need a lot. OK, and you don't have to use it every time you cook. I don't use it every time I cook, but I definitely know like it's a base seasoning I could use if I'm making a steak or, you know, some chicken or beef or something like that. And like I said, depending on how I feel, that's how I cook. OK. Let's sprinkle oh, a little bit of that. Thank you so much, Michonne. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have just a little bit in here. So uh -huh. I'm going to sprinkle. Uh-huh. Just like that. Yep. Okay. You good. Now mix that up and, and, and fry that in a pan. Uh -huh. Y'all can see we got all those seasonings in there. <laughs> yes. Y'all yes, use it all the time. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It was smelling good even before, y'all. But yes, now. Oh, and the color is good. Now, could you use... Is there a reason why you use red pepper? If you have green pepper or yellow pepper, could you use um, any? You can use any pepper that you want. Y'all know I'm big on make it how you want. Okay. But I always yeah. say, but if you try it my way, honey, it's going to be good. So <laughs> <laughs> well, we are doing Miss Aisha's way. Y'all see, I'm following this recipe to the T. The recipe is in the description. This is her cookbook, her first of several. Please support and get her cookbook. It has a hundred and 91 pages, you all. And each page is a recipe. So I'm telling you. All right. So we've got this nice and mixed up. So no egg, nothing. You don't need no uh, egg. Now, if you want to add egg, like I always say, you can do, but you don't need it for my recipe. It, it, you gonna see. It's going to come okay. all together. Okay. So now at this point, we've got it all mixed together. Um, what does the recipe say? Mix well. So we did that. Mm -hmm. And then it says patty the mixture using a large spoon or ice cream scoop. I do have an ice cream scooper or how, how big do you make your, and um, so for the patties, it's going to depend on how big you want to make them. So you can make them as small or as big as you want. That's not going to make a difference. Um, the only difference would be is of course is the cooking time. Okay. So, um, if you make them smaller, of course, it's not going to take as long. And then, okay, so the little ice cream scooper I have is the little one that's a ball, but I think this is kind of small. I was going to put them on a Caesar salad. What if the same little measuring cup that I used? Uh huh. That'll be because that all you need to do is scoop some. You actually can use the spoon that you were using 
and just take okay. some if you if you're going to pat it in your hand just scoop some of that okay. out put it in your hand mm -hmm. and make some patties how big or small that you want okay perfect and my grocery my groceries are here so okay. you go ahead you go ahead and patty okay. and then we need some oil put some oil on in the skillet and i'll be right back okay all right y'all so we're gonna get these uh <laughs> we're gonna get these made so let me just move some stuff out of the way i'm gonna get the skillet and the oil in there isn't this so cool oh my god y'all can y'all believe this can y'all believe miss aisha is here okay class focus maggie all right so she's getting her groceries <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Yes, I'm in the Atlanta area. Okay. Um, focus. Let's clean up the ingredients so I can have the counter uh, ready. All right. So you all can see everything. And thank you all for being here. Thank you, Money Bass. Thank you, Mr. Option One. Thank you, uh, Mr. Kevin Brooks. I see the super chats coming in. I just want to respect her time. All right. So, so you all can see everything. Uh, thank you, Wilbert. Of course, you know it's going to be good, right? All right. Absolutely. Absolutely, y'all. I'm so, so grateful that you all are here. Miss Aisha has never done a collab like this. And she said yes to me. Oh, my goodness. Goodness. All right. So I need to get on patty making business. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So let's get a little um, little tray, little tray here. All right. So I can get these patties made, and I'll just do them in my hand so you all can see. Thank you all so much for being here while I'm struggle cooking. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna make these patties by hand. So let me just give them another wash. Yes, and thank you all for liking the live stream. Oh, you don't see the cookbook? It's in the description. Uh, Mona, if you would please grab the, uh, or someone on Facebook, you would find Miss Aisha's uh, website. I think it's cookingwithaisha.net, and all of her cookbooks are there. All right. You love the crab cakes? You love the <laughs> stuffed pancakes? Yeah, that's how she got started. All right, y'all, let me get busy. All right, so we got... Y'all tell me about this size. I'm team greedy over here. So I'm just kind of making them a little bit like a little, ah, and she's back. Okay. Ah, all right, y'all focus. We're good. All right. So we're making this. <laughs> we're over here. What so happened? <laughs> nothing, nothing at all, ma'am. Okay. How many patties do you usually make with this recipe? Um, well, I do make mine a little bigger, so okay. but th but those are perfect. So okay. you're making a good size. Okay. I just made mine a little bigger. I think I got about five or six, maybe out of mine. Okay, so let's out go. That. Let's go for the six. Oh, they smell so good, y'all! If you I could, know they do. <laughs> if I could tell you, just you know, of course, if you like fish, if you like seafood, and then you know, you have the creaminess of the the mayo and uh, the butteriness i'm not even gonna lie y'all even though i'm gluten-free the butteriness of these club crackers yes oh all... it's that whole combination see yeah. you see maggie how it's coming together i see how it's coming together. <laughs> <laughs> all of that matters all of that matters okay all of these different flavors working together is what make your tongue dance that's what you want that's what you want. I love how you celebrate too when you eat something that you like. Yes, it, yes. Uh, it be so good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Lord so Jesus. Good. It do. Absolutely. It do. Is there anything that you don't eat? Anything that you're like, uh-uh, I'm not having that. Um, I do not like beets as of yet. I've tried okay. beets before. The pickled beets and, well, only pickled beets. But I'm I'm that person. I'm so open minded. Mm -hmm. I will try anything one time. Me too. Okay, that's that's how I'm able to actually cook on a variety the way I do too. Uh -huh. So I'm open to try anything. You know. Oh, okay. So you are a self proclaimed country girl. I have to ask: Is there anything we? I'm I'll do like um, duck meat. Um, I do like goat meat, and of course I'll eat lamb. Is there anything that's kind of like? especially Southern or gamey that you really, really like? Raccoon. <laughs> I 
I love raccoon. So, I mean, I, hey, I eat everything. Okay. Now I wasn't going to eat that bird from earlier because that was a different type of species, but I eat everything. I eat everything. I would, I would eat horse if they would sell it. I mean, hey, how do you know? How do you know, Maggie? You don't know until you try it. Okay. <laughs> we ain't knocking nothing until we try it. That's all I'm saying. And listen, if horses were the last thing on earth to eat, I think we all be eating horse. You're That's right. all I'm saying. You're right. They are laughing. Wow. 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 Okay. And don't knock yep. it till you try it because you're don't right. Don't knock it till you try it. That's all so, I'm saying. I've never had I make that horse taste like steak. Hey, don't mess with me. You don't even know what you're eating. Tell me, what is this? Horse. Horseback. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mr. Ed, honey. <laughs> oh my God. Woo. I'm here to, okay. So I have to ask. I'm going to get my cooktop uh together. We got all of our um y'all are killing me. I know y'all y'all see I'm dying over here. Uh so they we got look all amazing. Of our Six uh <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ed. Okay, so I, I clean as I go. So I'm just going to rinse these, then we're going to move. I have a little cooktop here, uh, but okay. I have to know, I've never had raccoon. I can't even do like alligator or anything. I know I'm a chicken. Oh, girl, alligator. I haven't. Oh, Maggie. I, haven't. I know, I know. One of these, um, one of, hmm, I just, ugh, it's a mental block, but how do you prepare raccoon and like, what does it Ooh, taste? Oh, honey, you could bake it. Um, And this is the thing. So you set your trap out, you catch your raccoon. Then you got to skin it. And all of that, you can leave the head on and all of that. You ain't got to take that stuff off. Um, and you bake it and it's so tender. And you just, you can make a gravy, honey. Listen, the only thing is it look like this. It's like, you know, and you got the teeth and everything. But if you can get past that, um, it's really actually good. You know, oh hey. Oh, my God. Oh, I heard <laughs> you know, it's just cooking like this. You know. <laughs> But hey, honey, listen, 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 listen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. I will have octopus. I will have Colin had a visual, like a roadkill visual. This one <laughs> left rest. But you know how in some restaurants like Caribbean and African and some Asian, they serve the uh, restaurants, they serve the fish like with the. I can't. I can't do it. Yeah. Can you do that? <laughs> I can. I can. <laughs> Oh I can. Listen, Maggie, I will do it for you. So if we ever go out to eat, don't worry. I will eat your portion. Okay. I will eat you can your have portion. It. You can have it. I just oysters recently. I got a, a girlfriend in the Boston area. And she's like, oh, every time. And I'm just looking at them and they're looking at me. And they're I love jiggling, oysters, and honey. I started eating raw oysters when I was three or four years old, and I'll never forget it. I was standing outside of my uncle's house. My dad, my uncle, and one of their friends was standing in a circle around a cooler of oysters, and uh -huh. they were drinking their beers, and I was tapping my dad on the leg like, I want one. I want one. And he put one on. I don't know if it was in the shell or on a cracker, but I know you put a little hot sauce on it and gave it to me, and I was hooked. So I can sit and eat three to four dozen of raw oysters in one sitting. And I love for them to shuck them in front of me or I can shuck my own. I can shuck them like a pro. Bloop. Got it. I can do my own. Yes, Lord. This is the, so many quotes. Oh, my goodness. Miss Aisha. Okay. So on the <laughs> class, I'm going to plug in. <laughs> I like your cooktop. Thank where did you, you oh, where did you get that awesome. this, this came from amazon and again and aisha i'm sorry not aisha mona if you would you all should see in the description i have a lot of links for you and i make everything kind of like like so we have a cheat sheet so like the equipment and stuff i use is on okay. there i have a teacher's wish list little things that i'll use in a recipe so you'll see this in a cheat sheet but it is ducks and this is on Amazon. So I, I do have a stove, but you can see my kitchen. I have to be walking. So I got this, this one little burner and then I set it up so that you all can see. So they can see it. I don't see it. 
Do you what, what is see, it? Do you see what the are we top? looking for? I see the no, I'm talking about the cheat sheet or whatever it is. How oh, is it coming oh, in the comments okay. or is that description? Like if you go into the, the event, I think oh I got you. The description I got you. Okay. Yes. So I have it on stopping point. I will paste it in here so everybody has it. But yes, this is the ducks top okay. from Amazon that I'm using. It's just a tasty cook cookware because for induction it has to have a certain kind of body it won't work on mm -hmm. i can't remember but you understand okay so thank you bj gonna, <laughs> yes thank, thank you all such a country girl we love her Isn't it? I just, Hi, this is Christina. So, okay so your re recipe says uh oh <clears throat> the recipe says vegetable oil for frying mm -hmm. so i do have re regular vegetable oil um just that's been approved for me, but I'm not going to use this. This oil is not based oil, however, Ooh. it has a low smoke point, so I would not recommend this. Everything will be all smoky. I'll set up the alarm, it'll just be a problem. So, I saute or drizzle or whatever, this is what I usually use, and then of course, I know I've seen you use green. I love grapeseed. Yeah, grapeseed. Okay. Yes, honey. <laughs> you can see here high heat cooking. So if you need mm -hmm. to fry or do anything like that, there are some oils that are best. Which one would you like me to, to use? Hmm. Either one is going to be just fine. How about the grapeseed? Okay. <laughs> so, now, you know, I'm about to go get the measure for three tables or until I get a, a little layer. Just <laughs> Yes. Just drizzle. Yeah. Let me see. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Let's see. You can do a little bit more, a little drizzle, a little more. Okay. Okay. That's good. Because it's really, you just need enough to where you can know, you know, you're frying your crab cake, but not deep frying it or frying it, frying it. We're just really cooking it. Okay. So is the oil going to come back to the center point or is it kind of? You know what? I'm seeing it kind of, maybe it's the Yeah, kind of go pot, to the like side. Kind of going. Okay. So that I have okay. like a whole layer, like enough so that it kind of. Kind of... Uh oh, Maggie, you froze. <laughs> Maggie. Okay, we'll wait just a moment, you all. It seems like we're still live. Okay, so it's just her and. Thank you, Marie. Hello, Deborah. Hey, Deborah. How y'all doing? Christina, my crab cakes are so good. I want you to try the recipe. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> oh, it's still frozen. <laughs> we'll give her a second. Hey, Lutasha. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Loretta. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. Hi, Regina. Thank you, Lynn. Hey, Cherie. Sharia, the kids are good. <laughs> yeah, she'll be right back, Dottie. Um, she'll have to go out and come back in. Hey, Keisha, I got a text from you. What you say, girl? I think you was telling me that you were coming back. Oh, thank you, Keisha. I love you. Thank you. That's my sister. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, you got to try it, uh, Lamisha. Me too, Lutasha. Girl, after watching her, I'm going to have to make these. And I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, y'all struggling. Told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, Maggie, I said, she'll be back. I said, she'll be back. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course, so I had a little blip with the power. I don't know what happened. And now this is, okay. So what I was asking, should I put a little bit more oil in here so that it actually, um, I get the, the whole layer there. And now this one is not. Um, well, you put enough, like that's okay. the normal amount. It's just the way the pan is made. So you could just put your crab cakes on the outer layer, just instead of putting them in the center, you could just put them around the edges. Okay. That's what I would do because you have enough oil. Okay. It's not the oil. And we don't want to have too much oil because okay. we don't want greasy 
crab cake. <laughs> we want uh, flavorful okay. but fried crab cake. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to show you all my, um, <laughs> let me show you my setup. Thank so my you, phone died. So you all can see here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I got going on. And the little over, there's the oh, wow. Up. There's the little mouth. Where oh, yes. Overhead. So this is what I'm tapping here. And then I got everything <laughs> down here. Thank you, Marie Marie. All right. Let me take it down. Let me clamp That's it back nice. up so y'all don't get, um, and uh, get you it's a struggle but we're gonna make it work we are almost there all right, we are and you and take your time maggie take your time oh, thank you for saying that because sometimes we'll people, we'll get there we'll get there people are like was this a cooking show this is horrible so thank y'all thank you <laughs> girl okay. listen you know what we're gonna say to that maggie god bless you and we're gonna keep it moving <laughs> Keep it moving. Okay. So I have this Keep goes from zero to 10 and I have it on five. So is that okay. medium heat or medium? Um, is that good? Medium You high? need medium high. Medium okay. high. Okay. I, I don't know what number that would be, but this medium gets hot high. pretty fast. So I put it on six. Do you want me to just go ahead and put them around here now? Yes. Okay. And it looks like. And you don't want to cook. Hmm. No, I'm listening. I'm just checking them. I'm going to turn it down. My internet just blipped for a second, but go ahead. Okay. And I'm big on, you know, sharing with people, don't cook your food on high, like start low because you can always turn your heat up. But if you start high and you put your food in the pan, it can scorch your food, it can burn it, and then you can't save it. So don't be, don't fret. If you're not frying chicken, of course, that's something different, but something like this, you can start low and increase your heat. It's better than when you start high and try to go low because by the time you put that food in there, it's too high. You know, don't nobody want no black crab cake. <laughs> I know I don't, you know, or, or you know, you're, you know, you don't want your food to be scorched. OK, so. Um, All right. She's reset. Back there. Good. Uh, OK, let's remove that one and let's get this one back on. I have I had myself logged in twice, but you said medium high. I think we're ready to put the crab yes. in there because it's nice and hot. Right. Okay. And I was just sharing with them, always start lower. Don't start higher because if you start on a higher heat and you burn your food, it's too late. You can't save it. I mean, you can okay. still eat it if it's burnt, but you don't want to, you know, if you start low, you can always increase your heat to where it needs to be. Okay. So would I just go ahead and place them in here now? Mm -hmm. But you on a number four. Uh-huh. What, what, what temperature is that? That's four, but it's starting to smoke. Like it's like. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead then. Okay, but it's so probably because we're using the grapeseed oil too. We're okay. using that grapeseed oil so that does create that as well. So let's okay, go ahead so and put them we'll in. Okay. Uh-oh, I broke one. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's still edible. Exactly. <laughs> That's how I am. It's still edible, honey. <laughs> All right. So they're, they're doing their thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm excited. So you can kind of scoot them a couple ones that kind of fell apart. Just kind of scoot them back together. They'll cook just fine. Okay. And just be careful, of course, when you're turning over your crab cake. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things, Maggie, that I did call for the recipe is to coat them on the outside with a little breadcrumb. But it's okay. That's not something you have to do. So oh, it's okay. not. It's, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's not going to take away from it is what I'm trying to tell you. So don't don't worry about it. It's not going to take away. You'll Should see. You put a little bit on top or? No, it's, it's okay. fine. It's okay. The next time you make them, you can do that if you want. But okay. it's not gonna um it's not gonna ruin your crab cake, I promise. It's gonna be good because you have all the flavor you need in your crab cake. Okay. So it's cooking like on a medium. Yeah. Is that like a medium? That's that's a good temperature. Okay. It's a good temperature. I'm doing yes. a little bit of browning on here, but mm -hmm. I do well on this side, so I'm just gonna try and move carefully so everybody gets a little bit of oil. Yes, honey. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Pan is level. I think my pan has like, you know, it kind of grooves. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the only thing. That's okay. So we'll let them cook for just a few minutes. Um, the thing about seafood, you all, it does not take long to cook. 
but because it is uh, kind of patty, you want to give it a little time to cook, you know, all the way through on one side. And then we flip it over. You only need to flip it one time. Okay. So, Wayne, yes. Wayne, this is Aisha's crab cake recipe. If you look in the description of the event, you'll find, uh, or I think I pinned it in the chat. At least I did mm -hmm. on YouTube. You all can see it there. Yes. And feel free to share this recipe uh, with your people. I have oh, no problem with that. So if you. you all want the recipe, just take away what you don't like, add what you want. Um, the only two things on this recipe that I had um, Miss Maggie add is the a little bit of the Old Bay and a little bit of the Greek all-purpose. So that's a, a few things you can just add to add a little flavor, a little extra mm -hmm. flavor. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Y'all, it smells like a seafood restaurant in here. Mm -hmm. okay. It's looking great. Looking mm -hmm. amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if you like, you can um, kind of flip one to see. Let's see how brown that we have the other side. Oh, yes, honey. You good. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I just won one. I know. <laughs> I want to cook for you. I want one. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good. And just be careful with your crab cake. I mean, okay. it's, it's crab cake. Well, I was talking to the other people. Just be okay. careful with it. Um, they're they're uh, delicate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're fragile. Yeah, we had. Um, um, I see they kind of fall apart, which is fine. Let me turn them because I'll, I'll be mm -hmm. talking. But um, does the extra uh, Toll House give it like any more structure, or is it just more like buttery flavor? Um, I believe it does because I, um, well, yours are doing just fine. Okay. Yours are actually fine how they're supposed to be. Okay. So you're doing great. And one of the things, this is a tip that I have for those who, um, if you cook online or any of that, what you do is you see how the, this side is a little darker, everyone. So what you do is you let your other side cook for just a few minutes. Uh -huh. And then when you serve it, you serve it on the other side. Uh -huh. ah, okay. <laughs> you serve it on the lighter brown side then i'll show you what i mean mm -hmm. um in just a minute about a minute and a half you'll be ready to take those out but what you okay. do is when you take them out flip them over when you put them onto your paper towel okay so I or whatever or your rack here. or whatever you're going to put them on okay what do you use do you use a cooking rack or a paper towel i use paper towel honey paper towel okay yep yeah they look amazing but if you just want them a little lighter all you got to do is just flip them over <laughs> and you serve them on the other side because who's going to pick up that crab cake and look on the other side nobody you know and it's still going to be delicious and that's all that matters yeah this uh cooktop it heats up pretty fast mm -hmm. pretty it's hot. a good cooktop though that's mm -hmm. a good cooktop mm -hmm. all right so we'll give it about 30 more seconds okay yeah, so for presentation, you definitely that's, for presentation. That's that's all it is. Because I mean, mm -hmm. hey, it's good. It's gonna be good either way it goes. But you know, like when I do my videos or my life, that's what I'll do. It. I just flip it over. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. They have no clue. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Live, y'all see it all. There's no way to make it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, um, Randy. She um, she didn't use all the crab crackers. I mean, the crab crackers, <laughs> the uh, the crackers. But that's fine because you can use more or less. Um, feel free to add egg if you want. I personally don't add those into mine, so it's up to you. See that? That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Look, boom. So that's just a little trick. So just you know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so they're still going to be good and delicious, but hey. Y'all would still eat this. <laughs> That's right. I know I would, honey. Listen, I have little mishaps all the time. All you got to do is know the, the trick of the game, honey. I know. Look, delicious, nice, and crispy. And they're nice and brown, but you have a nice, um, and it's okay if it falls apart. Don't, don't fret yeah. about that. It's going to be fine. Um, but I love that cooktop. Look how beautiful they are, you all. It looks delicious. We have one that's uh, a little bit of- I'll take that. Of... I'll take it. <laughs> For kitchen snacks, right? Pass it over. Pass it over. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Let me go ahead and, and feed y'all right here. So there you go. There's your- mm. <laughs> 
Golly, that looks so good. And see, I know the flavor of it. So I'm just like, ugh, I wish I could just have that. <laughs> I wish I could cook for you. So what I was going to do for presentation is just make, oh, make a quick salad and put it on. Or do you want me to just go ahead and taste Oh, it? no. I want to see the salad, honey. Okay. It's just a bag salad. Just a season That's salad. Okay. okay. That's okay. I think presentation is everything. I'm big on that. Now, I don't feel like you have to do things a certain way. But I, I know for me, just I try to encourage people, put love into your, your food. Put love into making it cutting up your peppers, your onions, cooking it, put your love into it. Even when you're presenting it, it does not have to look the best. It's the mm -hmm. point you put your love into it. Mm -hmm. People know that whoever yeah. you're serving, even if you're making it for yourself, you know, Absolutely. make it look presentable. It makes you feel better. It tastes mm -hmm. better. All that good stuff. <laughs> so, hey. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give you all a presentation tip as well. So I have white plates and I have black plates. And depending on what I'm cooking, I want the colors to kind of pop. So mm -hmm. if I were doing something lighter, like I'm going to do the salad on a black plate so the green lettuce jumps off of the plate. If I'm doing something darker color or with the red sauce, I'll put it on the white plate just for a little bit of contrast. So mm -hmm. just sharing that with y'all. Just awesome. a regular bag Caesar salad. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I eat all of that. <laughs> Exactly. I do. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. They look so good, Maggie. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to taste them. But Girl, I'm listen, taste. now that you're putting it on the salad, though, it makes me think like I'll be then messed around and drizzled it with some Caesar. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of stuff I do. Drizzle it with some Caesar. Mm -hmm. Whatever greens of your choice. This is dinner for me. And mm. uh, y'all know what comes in here the croutons, the Parmesan, and the Caesar. Mm hmm. Uh, now you want some uh, crack cake? Thank you. <laughs> yes, you're making everybody want crack cake. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm just going to open this up. This is just an easy way to make, you know, a nice uh, dinner. Um, you can use whatever substitutes that you have. But mm. I do like trying to plate and enjoy, you know, something a little yes. bit. So it makes you feel like, you know, you have a nice meal yourself mm -hmm. as well. Mm -mm, All right. Mm -mm. So um, for dairy substitutes, this is just regular Parmesan, but I will give you all a dairy substitute in case you want. Or... So if you can have regular grated Parmesan cheese, that's fine. Another substitute, Pecorino Romano. This is made from sheep's milk. I do a lot of goat's cheese and sheep's cheese to avoid cow dairy. If you have issues with that, you can get other substitutes. This is the... Um, the grated kind. So this would be a good mm. substitute for the one that's in like the shakeable, but just always like to give you all different tips. But since this came in the salad bag, we have the, um, <laughs> oh yes, y'all would eat it. Absolutely. <laughs> we have our romaine and Parmesan. And then even though I'm gluten-free, I'm going to go ahead and put a few croutons on this salad because I still make my posts of the finished product. <laughs> It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can make it as fancy or as simple as you want to. Caesar salad doesn't really have a lot, a lot got going on, but you all can see here. Oh, it froze up. All right. We'll take that down. It'll be back in just a second. And then we're just going to drizzle on. And then what I do, you all, I put the dressing on the salad. Then I'm going to put the protein. So whether it's salmon or anything, I put the dressing underneath. And then that way the uh, the fish or the crab cake kind of shines by itself. You still mm -hmm. get the flavor, but that mm -hmm. way it's not kind of covered up. <laughs> yes. All right. So let's see. I'm going to take this down. We'll see. It'll come back in just a second, y'all. So I'm just going to drizzle a little cross. Mm -hmm. Do it, Maggie. <laughs> Girl, you better do that salad. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm just so excited. Oh I'm trying to get myself together. Okay. Get yourself together. Oh, it's fine. This is now you know how we feel, right, y'all? Apparently, because this never happens to me. Exactly. <laughs> now you know how we feel. When we're I watching see. you do all of that and you're putting it on the plate and it's coming together and we can just imagine that uh, first bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a punishment because you can't taste it. I know. I know. I'm just getting my overhead. Y'all know I'm struggling over here, but don't worry. All we have so far, I'm going to plate the crab cakes on there and then that's going to be it. I'll take a picture and then I'll take a bite. Let me just get this over here so y'all can see. But yes, this is the uh, the struggle. 
I don't want to awesome. be in this position no more. This is not a good position. This is oh, this no. is not what it is. Like, oh, no. You to come back with no. <laughs> the only way I'm coming back is I'm cooking with you. I'm not, I'm not sitting in this position. I'm cooking with you so that yeah, I can yeah. eat my food and taste it just like you've been doing. And when we're done, I get to eat too. I'm not doing Ooh. this. Mm-mm. Would you all like that? Would you all like I have to cook with you? Oh my god. I have yes, to. Absolutely. I'm cooking for you and you're oh my god, we'll do like a cooking swap. All right. So yes. now you all can see we have our romance. Ooh. Mm-hmm. It just keep on messing up, y'all, but it's okay. We're gonna get through this live. We're gonna get through it. <laughs> Thank you all for your patience. I don't know why it keeps messing up, but it's okay. She'll be back. Oh, yeah. Next time you all, I'm cooking, too. I can't. I don't know how y'all sit and just watch the cooking. I have to be cooking, too, so that I can taste food while I'm cooking and all of that good stuff. And I want to be eating this salad right now. <laughs> so, uh-uh. Nope. Mm -mm. This is the first time for me. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's going to be good, Christina, making flounder. Mr. Key said it happens to the best of us. All right now, Miss Sherry. I agree, Rosalind. A few slices of lemon. It is hard, Tracy. <laughs> Thank you, Lutasha. Okay, Randy, she coming. It's it's the Wi-Fi or whatever she the issue she's having, but she'll be right back. It does look delicious, Christine. Please, Renee, try the recipe. Um, I asked Maggie to post it for you all. Uh, so hopefully. She will get it posted for, I'm sure she will. I'm not sure, Sheree, not, when I'm coming back. <laughs> Me too, daddy. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> Just takes a little patience. And I'm pretty sure it's not like this all the time. Sometimes you all know how the internet is. Sometimes it acts right and sometimes it doesn't. But I, I'm patient, so I'm not hip to your channel. Um, if you just look me up cooking with Aisha on Google, it'll, it'll tell you all of my platforms. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So I'm everywhere. <laughs> um, me too, Joy. We need smell of vision <laughs> Yes, Pamela, you got to make them. Agreed, Randy. Jeffrey, you can use what you like. You can use salmon. Um, you can use, um. Uh, what was I thinking earlier? It was something. I would even use canned uh, chicken to make uh, canned chicken cakes. <laughs> like, I'm a creative, though. Like, I just come up with stuff off the top of my head all the time. I'm not your typical, um, I'm not going to say typical. I don't make normal stuff. I, I think outside the box. So a lot of the things that I make are just not things that you would normally put together. So um, I'm always coming up with something different because I like to eat different. And I just feel like there is no limit to that. You can always recreate things. Our meats and stuff are going to stay the same, but there are different ways you can recreate it and have different flavors and things like that. <laughs> and we're waiting for you. <laughs> and I'm back. You know what? This is what we're going to do because everything just keeps just dropping and i'm so sorry y'all but i didn't do anything so we are going to finish this salad and uh thank you Ms. <laughs> yeah we're just talking until you come back just like oh, oh well. <laughs> thank you so much yeah you're I'm welcome back. it's okay it's not your fault so hey <laughs> yeah, I, of all the not days you. of all the days all right y'all exactly so, randy i just be thinking of the stuff to just to make <laughs> mm -hmm. we were talking about different meats we could do with the um Instead of the uh, crab cake, I was like, I would even do a canned chicken patty, honey. <laughs> you know what? Have you ever, I'm sure you've made salmon patties. I've tried. I have. The ones mm -hmm. in the can did not come out well for me. I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. Would you just do the same recipe, but substitute salmon? Um. Yes. Um. And I've made the, I have to look at what my recipe is. Um. Cause we're not talking about, um, we're talking about uh, salmon cakes, not the, uh, what am I trying to think of? What are those fried ones, you all? The fried um, salmon croquettes or whatever. Yeah, not the, I don't like those. Okay, I, I, I can make I didn't them, do well but I don't like either. them. Yeah, okay. I can make them, but I don't like them. So if no one requests them, I don't. Eh. 
<laughs> all right, you all. So where were we before my struggle? All right, so we have our <laughs> salad here, and we are going to yes. play. We're going to get the nice colored, um, not burnt, but well uh, done crab cake. That's They're right. Oh, it looks warm. so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. And we're going to place that one. And we'll try and get the mm -hmm. ones that are as round as possible, maybe a little bit different size, but let's put it. Yeah, I'm from St. Louis, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so we're going to place this here. Ooh, and Maggie, honey. This mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. your meal. So I am going to take a quick picture and video, and then I'm going to taste it. Because you know how you eat it, and then you're like, hey, that was good. I should have I know, it. I know. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, after all of that, so we're going to take a few pictures, one with a flash, one without. Oh, and then turn. Do you do your own food photography and everything? I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just us. All right. Then I, I'm going to um, a quick little reel. I went to Hazelwood East High School, class of 01. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> so yes <laughs> all right guys, we've got miss aisha's crab cakes here these are with the swimming crab over a caesar salad they have uh the nestle toll house club crackers um old bay greek seasoning uh pepper and onion and worcestershire sauce so we're going to give those a taste all right now comes the taste. So please finish what you were saying about high school. Oh no, someone was asking um, where I went to high school. So I was sharing, I went to Hazelwood East High School, class of 2001. I grew All up on right. Natural Bridge and um, it was Natural Bridge and Marcus, if you're familiar with that. Then I lived out of North County. Um, all right, Maggie, I'm ready, honey. All right, you guys ready? Oh, <laughs> all right, so we're going to get in here. Taste a little bit of the crab cake by itself, y'all. I'm going to go. Um, wait, wait, wait. Can we see it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get a closer look. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it looks so good, you all. <laughs> she about to shout, y'all. <laughs> I know, honey. I know, I know, I know. Ain't the Lord good? Oh Ain't he God. good though? <laughs> Time, y'all. Oh my goodness, Maggie, you did they an amazing so job. Oh, thank you. Now I'm gonna take a bite with a little bit of salad. You all, it's nice and mild, seasoned very, very well. You got that nice little crispy fried crust on the end. Inside, they're mm -hmm. nice and tender. Oh, let me give you guys the. Oh, uh, uh, and uh, the and good. the crackers will the crackers will give it a crispier. Um, so if you want a more crispy outer edge, you can add the crackers for the outter coating. <laughs> Maggie's so silly. <laughs> I know, honey. I know. I know. I know. It's so good. Y'all. Oh. <laughs> Y'all. You would sit down for this dinner and you would feel like you spoiled yourself. Emma is laughing. I'm telling you. Y'all, it is so good. Just the crab yes. cake by itself. Let me show you all. One that we uh, have. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it looks so good. Mm. Oh, Maggie, you did so good. It's so oh, good. I already know. I already know. With all <laughs> of this struggling, y'all have got to make Miss Aisha's crab cakes. I'm telling you. Yes, you all. It make all so my good. recipes, honey. Make them all. Yes. <laughs> Don't just make Absolutely. the crab cakes. I have a ton of recipes and all of my recipes are not even in my cookbook. I have well over, what, 200 recipes at this point um, that are recorded, but I make up stuff all the time. So I've oh been making God. up stuff and sharing it as well since I've printed the two cookbooks. I have more coming. A low carb cookbook is coming, which is good if you're diabetic to help lower your A1C. Mm -hmm. um, come join my weight loss group. We're finishing up a Daniel's fast, but we will be starting our next weight loss challenge on February the first. It's free, um, and that's all I got. <laughs> oh my goodness, Miss Aisha, you have been such an absolute joy. I cannot believe when you're. <laughs> You collab with me with all of this struggling, but you all, this is incredible. I have made Miss Aisha's, of course, 
Your king crab, baked king crab, when you Ooh. season it, I've made that. I have made your right, fried ma chicken tacos. Oh, I've yay. <laughs> oh, I've been watching. I've been watching for a while. Okay, long now. Oh, yes. I have been watching. I have been in the weight loss support group. Helped me to hit a milestone. I know this struggle. Praise God. I cannot, yes, I cannot thank you enough. And you all, this right here, these crab cakes, I'm telling you. They're tender and creamy on the inside. Even though I didn't do all the um, Hi, uh, crab crackers, got a nice little crust because of the way we pan fry them. You could do this mm -hmm. with other veggies or I like it over a salad. I like the contrast. This is dinner for me. I am yes. so, so thankful. So <laughs> we thank you all so much. Yeah. And yeah. hey, it happens. You know, I was telling them we just need a little patience. Where are we going? <laughs> What are we rushing for? You don't ever want to rush good food, okay? Just take your time. Stuff that? happens. Just take mm -hmm. your time. It's going to be good when it all come together. So just don't uh -huh. worry about it. <laughs> don't worry so about much. it. Oh, thank, thank you, too, you Maggie. So Thanks much. for having me. Thank you all for hopping on. <laughs> yes, please go support Miss Aisha. Facebook, Twitter. Um, I'm not sure if she's Twitter, YouTube. Let's Google um, me. Let's okay, just Google, just Google me. her, find her, get the um her cash app is dollar sign select blends. Please support her. Her cookbooks <laughs> are on her website, cookingwithaisha.net. I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. I appreciate you all being here and for waiting with me. It was definitely worth the wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and say class is dismissed. Thank you so much, Miss Aisha, for being here. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>